Hey, so it's still Feature Friday. Uh, this is part three on inspection forms. This is where we get into just a couple of the more advanced features that uh, the forms uh, provide to you. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so let's add some conditional responses to that existing inspection form that we built. So I'm going to go back to planning, roll down to manage inspection forms, and I'm going to use that existing form that we had created in the other parts. And so here's 1024. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see that's my active form, and what I'm going to do is create a revision. I'm going to give a reason here. I'm going to say added additional response. Okay. Go ahead and click edit, which is the pencil. And I'm going to edit question number three, which again, I'm clicking on the pencil. So I add a second response field to this question by simply rolling down, clicking text response. Now you can see that I have two. I'm going to enter a description here, something like, if bad, please further. And fix my spelling errors, of course. Now, I'm not going to make it be required, but I am going to make it not visible. I'll let the condition that I'm going to set up here in a moment to control that. Then I simply click Done. Then I simply click Save. All right, so now on the revision, I'm going to go to the Conditional Settings, which is this little icon right here. Go ahead and click that. Then here is where I assemble the logic between the different questions and their responses. So I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side, and I'm going to choose Select a Value and then I can choose add a condition. And I simply answer the questions. If the answer is bad, then the response field is going to be that one I created, 3.02 in this case. Here is where I mark it visible. And it's probably a good idea to mark it as required because otherwise people would just leave it blank. Then I click Save. Then I click Back. And at this point, this is where I would activate the revision. And the new form is now available for use. So let's use that updated inspection form in a new work order. So I'm in the Technician mobile application. I've assigned the work order to myself. And I just roll down here is my new work order 1443. Go ahead and click on that. Once the record settles down, go to the inspection icon, click that as well. Once that record settles down, let's start the inspection like we did before, upper right corner. And I'm just going to jump right down here to the particular question to show you the condition. So I'm going to choose bad. When that happens, it pops up that uh, comment field, and I'm going to say, um, looks like a rat in the back area, something like that. And then I would click Save and move on. So there's an example of adding a condition to a particular question in the form. So now let's talk about automation scripts and how they can interact with inspection forms. Recall I mentioned in one of the sections or one of the parts of the videos about a require action on any of the questions or response. You can create automation scripts that will do practically anything you'd like as a result of a question or a response from an inspection form. The nice thing is IBM has provided a, a sample to start with. So let's go to the inspection form and start that process. Go back to planning. Go down to Manage Inspection Forms, and we're going to open up that inspection form we've been working with here, and just click on 1024. I'm going to go ahead and create yet another revision. Enter a reason, 
adding automation. Okay. And then over here on the right hand side is the gear. So we click on the gear. Okay. And you can see over on the left hand side, we have a list of the automation scripts that are available. Again, this is just the one that IBM provides. You can see its name, so you can go look it up in the, in the manage system. Um, but this is the one that will create a work order for items that require action. So any question that you have indicated require action, when the inspection form is complete, the pop-up will occur and the user has the opportunity to create a work order. Quite simply, you choose it, you click Add, and that's about all you need to do at this point. Now we go ahead and click Done. And like we did before, we need to activate the form. And you're all set. So before we forget, I jumped back over into that inspection form just to show you on the question again where you would indicate require action. So I simply opened the form, made a new revision, and went to question number three, and you can see that I checked the require action box. So truth be told, I switched to a different system here to show you the pop-up when you complete the form. You now have the option to perform the action that the automation script takes. In this case, it creates a partially complete and waiting for approval work order due to the negative response to our question. And that's it.